Hey guys, it's Alex. Uh, on the advice of uh, a fellow YouTuber that uh, follows my channel, I got some screen capture software. And I wanted to show you guys why a lot of people are raving about this 8000 RPM patch. Uh, HP tuners came out for Coyote Mustangs, uh, 11, to, 11 to 14. Um, they allow you to rev to 8000 RPMs. And some people I think are confused as to why they allow you to go that high. Um, some people say, well, you know, I rev it to 7000, 7700, no problem. But they don't understand what's happening with the car. Usually they don't data log it. They just say it revs, so it should be good. Well, I'm going to show you right here what happens when you don't have the patch and you end up reaching that RPM level. So right here we have a 2014 automatic car. Don't mind these little lines. I have a very slow computer. So um, I have a 2014 Mustang automatic and uh, making some good power. So he wanted to have me go to the track and play around with the shifting. Well, let me just hover over here, and you'll see at the top, you'll see it says 7,600 RPM, okay, meaning this is this right here is the first gear shift. So he leaves the line, first gear, and again, if you look over here real quick, 7,600 RPMs. The next shift is at about the same, 76 or so, and uh, let's move everything over so we can see third gear. About 76. So I have it set to shift at about 76, 70, high 76s. Anything above that, you'll see what happens. So why is the patch important? Okay, well, again, let's go back to the first gear shift and let's look at what the cams are doing. Boom, boom. You see that wig out right here? This major wig out. Let's get rid of RPM just so you see what I'm talking about. See, the cams are processing. If you look at right here, the cams are doing what I want them to do. Okay. And then when I reach 70, almost 7,700 RPMs, and it shifts, okay, 7,700, they immediately stop processing. Right here, they go to zero. Means they're not doing what I'm, I'm commanding them to do this. You know, I'm commanding them to do this, you know, 13.6, uh, this and that. But they go to zero on the RPM shift. What the patch allows you to do is it allows the cams to keep processing all the way up to 8,000 RPMs. So by the time he shifted, about a second passed before they the cam started to do anything else. See right here? They started to do what I want them to do. The cam started to process, do what I want them to do. Notice that on the 2 to 3 shift, they're fine because I commanded it a little lower. 3 to 4 shift, they're fine. And, you know, the converter locks up here and it rings out forth through the end. But... They're doing what I want them to do here, and on the 1-2 shift, when I go hit the limiter, they don't process for a full second, so you're losing time, and who knows what table they're reading off of. You know how these cars have HDFX? What table are they taking their timing out of at this point? Who the freaking hell knows? They're at zero, okay? So they're probably on borderline knock table one, maybe, or maybe not. Who knows? I mean, they're just doing what they're doing whatever, okay? They only start doing anything right around here. So that's why the patch is important. People like uh, Eric Brooks and HP Tuners that find these things really make it helpful for people like us to make sure that the cams do process uh, at that high RPM. Uh, it's not more of a letting it rev to 8,000 RPMs. It's more of letting it rev to about 77, 7,800 and still having the cams do what we want them to do, unlike here. Okay, just wanted to clear it up. Hopefully you guys uh, understand why the patch is important and it's real popular right now. Uh, it also works for manual cars because on the 1-2 shift, these cams do the exact same thing if you go way past the limiter. All right, guys. I'll be bringing more videos out with this screen capture junk because it's pretty cool. So uh, thank you for watching.